Hello again, Peekaboo Provokers. I just wanted to share with you our strategy we did for Mission 60 here online with uh, Inferno. Um, right at the start here, there's a ship that drops some ants here, and what they're going to do is they're going to shoot a grime crime buster, whatever it is, on the ship and kill it for us. And we just have to deal with the ants, so we're just going to try not to pull anything else and just kill these ants. Uh, for weapons, I have a shotgun and a reverser. And uh, he is a fencer with just, uh, I'm not sure exactly what he has, but he has you know the dash hop setup and uh, so now we're gonna wait for the next grime buster to come in and kill the second ship that's gonna be spiders and once again we're not gonna pull anything else we're just gonna kill so as you can see it drops all the spiders I don't know why they don't kill the ship before the spiders drop but that's okay so now there's gonna be a whole bunch of spiders coming after us not a big deal looks like he has a mortar for his he, he really likes taking mortar with the uh, for his hop move. I'm not too comfortable with that yet, but I just recently unlocked a nice stampede for the fencer, which I think is new as far as I can tell in this game. It's only two shots maxed out, but it does like 18,000 damage, so it's pretty good for mobile class. So I might start using that. But anyway, so now we're going to kill all the, um, the spiders that came after us. Now we're going to work on this first ship here, which is the wasps, which are actually pretty bad for our low armor, but uh, Oh yeah, he also has a, uh, a a maximum disruptor where you can hop in the air and, and uh, shoot it down. Like it's almost like the uh, fusion blaster for the fencer. Which yeah, as far as I know, which I I looked at the list, the weapon list, there isn't a fusion blaster for ranger, but there is the fusion blasters for the fencer. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they would do that. I guess fusion blaster was really strong, but I'm not sure why they would get rid of that. Although he does have good weapons now, so I'm not too upset about Ranger. He feels really strong now. So now I brought a vehicle as well. I brought a railgun. The vehicle doesn't really matter as much. Um, I'm just taking a, a railgun because it's got high armor, high health. But I mean, any any vehicle probably would work for this as long as it has high armor. And now there's there's a uh, a peekaboo. I think his name is Orchestra online when I translate in Japan Japanese. But um, there's that rolly guy that comes out and the way you trigger him is you f that mountain straight ahead that I'm pointing at if he goes up to that mountain and goes up there it'll trigger the the Organist to come early so we don't have to worry about pulling another ship that way we just have to work really we just have to work on the Organis only and not on the enemies because if you start attacking those ships and he comes then the enemies will keep coming after you and it gets kinda rough so now we're gonna go to the back of the map here just to be safe so we don't pull anything else while we're fighting them and then we're just going to use the uh, the armor of my vehicle and then of course he's mobile so it's not as big of a deal for him and just have to uh, fight him until he starts running away and the funny thing is when he's about to when he's about to die or about to run away he actually goes to the enemies and then comes back to you and uh, it seems like he actually goes to pull the enemies for you as like some kind of like parting gift or something but I think since we were so far away it didn't work this time but uh, last time he actually ran to the enemies and uh, brought them back with him and then he ran away so that's kind of funny but I, I went up using all of my ammo on this guy and uh, machine gun I don't think it's time based I'm pretty sure it's damage based because we played another mission recently that is not too far away from this one and we we tried to just wait him out and he wouldn't go away. We had to do a certain number of damage, so I'm not 100% sure on that part, but if you have a vehicle, it's not too bad because you, when you're out of ammo, you can just get out of the vehicle, stand near it, and then shoot him, and once he gets near was he's going to attack you, then you could just go back into the vehicle and then uh, survive like I'm doing right here. I always make sure that I have where it says you can enter, where you see that little text so I can e immediately go in if I need to. But this shotgun has, I think, 340 meter range or something. But it's it's definitely become my new favorite weapon. There is a GNM that shoots through enemies, which might be a close second, but I think I like the shotguns a little bit better because of how strong and shooting through enemies. But yeah, this is mainly the hard part. If, since we can isolate him in the corner by going to that mountain. It makes this mission a lot easier. So that's why I wanted to uh, share this. I'm not sure if it's something 
that uh, I got lucky finding, but I'm glad I found this out because it makes it a lot easier. But he actually, uh, we were playing a different mission, and he, we had, I think it was 60,000 health on a Vigalta, and he did that rolling attack, and it one-shot the Vigalta, and it killed him inside of it, so I think the physics are still weird in this game, where if, uh, if something jumps on you or attacks you, and it hits you just right in the environment, it can actually kill you one-shot, even though it shouldn't normally, but it's not a, it doesn't happen too often. But yeah, that... that belly flop he just hit me with. It, did, it didn't seem to hurt that much. It was only like, I don't know if it was like 5,000 or something, which isn't too much. I was expecting to be more than that. Yeah, that that rolling right there, that could have killed me, but yeah, it didn't. So now, I don't know what to talk about while we're waiting for this guy to die. I should probably have done 4x speed. <laughs> I never use the machine guns on that railgun though. I don't know if it's... I never really checked the damage, so... Okay, see, now he's gonna run away. And he's actually gonna go to the enemies and then come back. <laughs> Look how fast he runs, it's so funny. But last time, like I said, we were playing, he actually grabbed the enemies and brought them back with him. It was kind of funny. And then it's almost like he was laughing as he went away. But, uh... But since we're so far away, maybe it doesn't work, so... That's good to know. So now it's just a matter of killing the two ships. Not too difficult now. We're just gonna start with the left one that has ants, and then the right one has wasps. But you don't have to pull it. You can just pull them separately, so it's not a big deal. And there are some red ants actually in the far back, but uh, those aren't too much of a threat either. But his fusion blaster, the maximum disruptor, they seem to be the same as far as the range. So I'm not sure why they chose to give him that still. As you can see, it's pretty strong. But now that I've been playing for so long on in Inferno, I really feel like the shotgun just feels so much better than the machine gun, and that was such a surprise. I was, I was expecting the machine gun to be the, the best again. But I guess it's just because of the fact that you can shoot through enemies with it. And they're, they're really high damage this time around. But yeah, we just head over to the other section, kill the red ants, and then kill the wasps. There's really not, not much to this mission after that Urginus part. That's why I just wanted to share that Urginus part with you guys. Um, if you if you didn't know about it, because I thought it was a pretty, pretty cool thing, it made it a lot more, a lot more, a lot easier. I mean, it's, it's hard. Gonna, you know, it's gonna be hard to do online if you're not uh, communicating with people. But at least you can maybe let them know if it's a, if it's a, tr a struggle mission, because the mission can be rough if you don't have a mobile class, especially. Yeah, I'm not even going to get a second railgun. It's pretty crazy. They definitely have nerfed the how many times you can call vehicles out. I mean, it's not as bad as I initially thought because now that they're leveling up, the uh, points are not as high as they initially were, of course. Like, they're staying around 6,000, 7,000 points to call one, but it you don't get... Like, even I killed that vehicle right there, I didn't get another railgun either, so... So they don't they don't want you to rely on vehicles as much in like in this game now. But yeah, that's that's it pretty much. Not too bad. I want you to know about that part. So once again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.